Maybe Popol has found some information about the Shadow Lord. Let's drop by the village. Very well. Hey, Popola. Ah, you're back. Have you learned anything more about the Shadow Lord's key? I'm sorry, but it's going to take me some time yet. I see. Well, can I take something off your plate in the meantime? Hmm. Oh, how about this? You know the ferryman with the red bag, right? Well, he's been skipping out on work lately. Can I ask you to go to Seafront and check on him? Sure thing. I'll do what I can to figure out the key. This feels alarmingly familiar. Ta. I'm sure that couple is merely having another one of their inane spats. Let us do our utmost not to get dragged into it this time, hmm? Oh god, it's over. My life is over! What's wrong? Oh hey, I remember you! You're the ones who helped us out way back when. Seeing as we've come all this way, I suppose we had best ask, what is the matter? 
I had a fight with my husband, and he ran away from home. Mm-hmm, yes, yes. You may color me utterly flabbergasted. But it's all that idiot's fault. I was saving up a bunch of apples, and he went and ate ten of them. That's... actually sort of impressive. Well, sure, I, I may have lost my temper a little, but... I can't believe he just up and left. He's been gone for a week now, and it's... All right, all right. We'll help you find him. <laughs> really? Oh, thank you so much. And here we go again. <sighs> Shall we begin by asking around at the tavern like before? Hey there. I'm looking for the guy with the red bag. You seen him around lately? Really? Is that couple fighting again? Yeah, the guy took off and hasn't been seen since. I take it this isn't a surprise? Hardly. Their arguments are legendary. We're actually considering selling tickets as a tourist attraction. Anyway, I think he's from that village with the library? Maybe he went back home. I think his brother is a guard there or something. Thanks for the tip. I'll see what I can figure out. Say, you're pretty handsome. Care to buy a lonely woman a drink? Yeah, I'm good. To think that couple's petty squabbles have become something of an attraction for the locals. Doesn't surprise me in the least. Seeing people like that puts a little spring in your step, you know? We've got the latest in weapons from foreign lands. Thanks. You humans truly are a maddening bunch. Such buffoonery does little more than wear this old tome out. We searched the southern plains back when the wife ran off too, right? I believe we did, yes. Lots changed since then. So it's kind of nice when we find something that hasn't. The fact that couple is still arguing almost fills me with... I don't know, hope, I guess. If you asked me, that particular couple could benefit from a little change. Oh, hey. It's you. What's up? You're related to the ferryman who carries a red bag around, right? Yeah. He's my little brother. Haven't seen him in a while, though. A shame. Have you any idea where he may have absconded to? Not a clue. Like I said, I haven't seen him. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, but the last time I did see him, he said something about using his ferry to deliver letters. Maybe you should try talking to someone at the post office. I guess we could ask the postman over in Seafront. Just once I would enjoy receiving a quest that can be sold in the general vicinity of the Asker. Ah, I cannot believe how many trips we have made simply to track down a single man. It's alright to do this kind of thing every now and then. I only pray this is not the calm before some manner of storm. Say there, lad, have you ever penned a missive? You mean a letter? No. I'm not big on writing. It always takes me forever to figure out what I want to say. What's to figure out? One simply takes Quill in hand and unleashes their soul upon the canvas of the page. Whatever you say, Vice.
Hey, Post... Oh, sorry. You're not him. I'm sure as hell not. I just swung by to pick up a letter and wound up running the damn place. Anyway, you here for a package or something? Uh, no. There's this couple who's always fighting and the husband took off, so I'm trying to track him down. Ring any bells? <sighs> Sorry, pal. You're asking the wrong guy. Still, that's pretty weird. My buddy's daughter took off too. Maybe running away is the cool thing to do now. I find it exceedingly unlikely this pair of runaways is mere coincidence. Any idea where she might have went? That is the question, isn't it? Actually, you know what? I bet she went to check out the huge shipwreck that drifted into the inlet the other day. Not often something like that comes around. It's all the kids have been talking about. Shipwreck, is it? I suppose we might as well investigate, seeing as how we lack any other tenable leads. Right. Let's head for the inlet. Where did that enormous ship even come from? Kine. Emil. What's going on? I haven't seen you two come into Seafront in, well, ever, I guess. Sorry for the surprise. Kaine said she sensed something strange in the area. Strange how? Like a shade? Maybe. I'm not sure. There's some kind of sound or something coming from up ahead. What an incredibly specific piece of information the hussy has graced us with. <laughs> what is it, Kaine? Nothing. Let's get moving. We're gonna need to figure out some way to get inside that thing. This ship is in a state of want and decay. Surely we can find a hole or some such if we put our minds to it. These planks seem to be covering a rather large hole. We can probably get in if we move them out of the way. I'm worried about whatever it is Kaine is sensing. We should make sure we're really prepared before going inside. This ship is in poor condition indeed. Do try not to thrash about and bring its timbers down around us, hussy. 
whatever. <laughs> you sure you're all right, Kaine? You really shouldn't push yourself. Hey, I've got an idea. How about you and me search outside and get some nice fresh air in the process? Sure. Sounds good. Take care of Kaine for us, Emil. Emil is on the case. Come on, Kaine. Let's get the lead out. This place is pretty gloomy. I'm having a hard time imagining any townsfolk hanging around here. Well, as we've no other leads, let the search begin. Look there, on the floor. I believe we have found ourselves a lantern. And there's still some oil in it. Nice. We require a key in order to proceed. Let us fumble about and see if we cannot find one. Wait, did you see that girl just now? I did indeed. How on earth did she manage to get behind us? Perhaps she is the runaway we heard tell of at the post office. Best track her down and take her back to town with us. Hmm? There's no one here. Weird. It's like we just saw a ghost. Oh, what foolishness! I am certain this room merely contains a secret passageway or the like. What is with this ship anyway? There may be clues somewhere that tell of how it ran aground. It looks really dark up ahead. Then perhaps we ought to make use of that lantern we just found, hmm? What's this? An apple. It's a bit bruised, but it's not super old or anything. I wager it was dropped by that fruit-loving ferryman with the red bag. Perhaps he absconded to this ship to wait out the storm after yet another spirited debate with his wife. Ah, oh, goodness. What a troublesome couple. Let's keep moving. Oh, oh, what was that sound just now? Sounds like it came from the floor above us. This barrel's been knocked over, and there's flour everywhere. Surely it was toppled by the girl we saw at the entrance? Wait. Cast your eyes to the floor, lad. The missing child left white tracks in her passing. Should we follow them, I expect we will find our way to her. Man, this book's got some serious heft to it. I wonder what it's for. It would seem to be this ship's logbook. Let us avail ourselves of a gander. Hmm. Records of the routes it traveled, the weather it encountered, and the places it made port. All in a painstaking level of detail. I would until the day the records suddenly cease. What the hell happened on this ship? We've no time to stand about deciphering a logbook. Let us move on. Did you see that light on the other side of the shelves? A shame we cannot investigate further with these blasted things in our way. I would like a word with the interior designer who thought to put them here. Hang on. I think I can move these. Mm. 
It appears to be caught in a crack in the floor. It would not do to have the ground beneath our feet come undone, so let's give up on pushing the thing. Hey, there's a notebook on this desk. Oh, wow, this thing is crammed full of information. A record of the cargo they carried, no doubt. Let me see... <sighs> by my pages, this ship was used by slavers. How simply atrocious. Wait, you're telling me they sold people? And made out quite handsomely from the transactions, it would seem. How could they do something like that? I do not know, nor do I care to ponder it. Let it suffice to say there are monsters who trade coin for misery in all corners of this accursed world. There's a breeze coming through these shelves. That white vase is rather conspicuous. Try giving it a nudge. A hidden room. How delightful. These chests are pretty huge. And what do they contain? Treasure, perhaps? I wish. Looks like a bunch of iron tools. Those are no mere tools, lad. They are instruments of torture. I shudder to think what evil transpired in this room. This ship holds many secrets best left unknown. Don't seem to be any shades around, at least. Fortunate for us. Now let no more time be wasted in our search for the townsfolk. This ship holds. The white tracks end here. Wait, I hear something. Would it not be wise to explore the rooms on the floor above us? It seems this door will not open. A kitchen, is it? Heavens, look at the size of this saucepan. This must have been where they prepared meals for the crew. Hmm? There's a note stuck to the counter. Extra rice, hold the peppers. Looks like the crew had some say over how they ate. <laughs> to be picky about one's food while at sea is a luxury indeed. Perhaps it is wafting from further inside? Another apple. Just how many apples does that quibbling husband keep on his person while he's out and about? Let's keep searching. Should we not be heading farther in? that sound was, it stopped. I swear it sounded like a girl. This is a voice pipe. A contraption by which one's voice can travel to a faraway location. Which means the girl is in whatever room this pipe connects to. Hold a moment. I spy a chart of the ship's layout on the wall. <sighs> yes, this pipe connects to a cabin in the ship's stern. 
Onward and, uh, inward, I guess. This little lantern has brought us quite far, hasn't it? Yeah, and the light it gives off makes me feel, I don't know, safe somehow. Well, aren't we the romantic? Uh, Vice? I think the floor is... Speak to me, lad. Are you hurt? Uh, been better, but I'll live. I can't see a thing down here. What is that terrible stench? I suspect we may have fallen into the ship's hold. The lantern got away from me during the fall. We'd better look for it. Hmm? Is that... Have you still not found the lan... Vice, that's it! We found the lantern. About time. Might I suggest you cease the celebratory fanfare and light the blasted thing already? Oh dear. Look at the bodies. They are all people from town. And, I fear, the missing ferryman. Oh no. This can't be real. Why? Why did he... Why did everyone have to... God damn it! Pull yourself together, lad. Remember the presence Kaine sensed? The culprit who murdered these poor folk likely awaits us further within. I won't let them get away with this. That's enough, lad. Avert your eyes. Hey there, you two! Hey. I didn't know you guys came back inside. Did we ever? Found a nice hole in the wall to slide through. But then, we heard a bunch of noise coming from that super dark floor downstairs. You sure had us worried. Yeah, sorry about that. You feeling better, Kaine? A little, yeah. Sorry for the trouble. Good. That's... that's good. Jeez, you seem really down in the dumps. Did something happen? <sighs> Tell me, Kaine, that presence you sensed. It's on the floor above us. I feared as much. It seems we've little choice but to press onward. There's a bunch of crumpled up paper here. Letters, maybe? They all seem to have the same words written upon them, but the penmanship is so poor I cannot make heads nor tails of it. They seem to be le- This would be the final room, yes? The culprit who murdered the townspeople may be behind this very door. Let us proceed with utmost caution. It's that girl we saw when we first entered the ship. Old lad, this is a lone child sitting inside a hulking ship littered with corpses. Something is clearly amiss. There. Could this girl be the presence you sensed, Kaine? <gasps> oh, 
Oh, hey, it's you. Been a while. Wait, you're the postman. What are you doing here? Oh, I've been coming here a lot lately. I think this girl was on the ship when it drifted in. I've been keeping an eye on her until she's well enough to leave. Hey, so this is kind of awkward, but... The girl is, you know, bleeding? I brought a bunch of bandages with me, but, uh... Well, how exactly does one deal with a woman's time of the month? <sighs> so, sorry, sorry. Clearly crossed a line there. Forget I said anything. Stay the hell away from her! She isn't... <laughs> Kaine! Emil! We'll figure something out. You just find a way to get the hell out of here. The two of them will be fine, but you and I must withdraw. The ship is collapsing. We must leave at once. Very much aware of that, thanks. Let's go. James! They're in the way! Looks like we can get out through that hole up there! Glad you two made it out in one piece. Yeah, we're good. But that poor postman is still trapped inside. We'd better go help him out. No shade would dare pursue us into sunlight such as this. We should use the opportunity to ready ourselves. <laughs> what on earth? Is not precisely the case. It most certainly is being burned by the sunlight. However, its regenerative abilities far outpace whatever damage the light is able to inflict. This light, something is coming. Get out of the way at once! I can't believe that little girl was actually this thing. This monstrosity is unlike anything we've faced before. Remain vigilant! Aim for the tentacles with faces on them! Up now. Focus on the next one. This thing is gonna pay for what it did to those people. The town will be in grave danger should we leave this creature be. We must end it here and now.
a chance. Attack with all that you have. Did we get it? Oh hell, that thing's huge! To think it could recover from such a grievous wound. Ordinary attacks aren't gonna do shit against this thing. Here it comes! Dodge! Such a huge... Shade even exists! That thing ain't normal. So stay smart unless you want to get dead. This thing will destroy the town if we don't stop it. The number of spears flying our way is increasing! Yeah, I can see that! Damn it! My word! If this continues... Hey! Over here! This guy's important to you, isn't he? Thing immortal? How can it withstand such an onslaught? I, I'm really scared, guys. We will be in grave danger if it unleashes that attack. We must stop it. Ha <laughs> ha. 
What are you doing? You're gonna get yourself killed! Focus on the source of its magic. Aim for the head. We can never be together! You disgust me!